Oh my gosh, look at this massive ship full of passengers. We're gonna be bringing it all the way to the Arctic. Let's get started. So first thing we need to do on this boat is start up the engines. And this thing actually has a boiler in it, so hopefully it doesn't explode. We're down in the spooky engine room. Let's go ahead and turn on the firebox right here. So now the temperature is rising. All right, great boiler pressure will be building here in a bit. It's really dark down here. We need to turn on the lights. Okay, um, what is down here? A whole bunch of bedding. We need to do the tour in a bit, but not now. So we need to enable some stuff here. So the clutch and the main steam valve. And there we go. We should start running here just in a bit. So we are now in the bridge. Let's do increased speed right there. So it is already on full. Let's turn on some navigational lights, exterior lights, and interior lights. Oh, they're so nice. So we have a whole bunch of actual passengers on this thing. Um, Only on the outside of the boat. I didn't put any on the inside. It's kind of harder to do that, but we got Debbie on board. Oh, Lord. This is just cannon. Well, anyways, we are going to be going all the way to the Arctic. Let's see how far that is. So we are somewhere over here, and we're going to be going all the way up here. Or we're at least going to attempt to. I don't know if it's going to work that well. 121 kilometers. Do we even have enough fuel for that? I don't know. We're going to definitely see, though. Oh, would you look at that? The pistons are now moving. That also means the propeller should be moving. There it is. It is slowly starting to spool up. There's smoke coming out of the smokestack. We should start moving. So we are slowly moving. I really hope this thing goes a little faster than this. This is really slow. We're on full. I don't know what's going on. There we go. We're up and running. All right, let's turn this thing to the port side here, and we have to turn to the waypoint. This thing has some really good turning for a boat like this, but um, any bit here, we're going to actually run through a tour of this thing. This thing has a very nice interior. I can say that. I think we've used this before. I don't really remember, but it's a really cool boat. But honestly, what a beautiful day to actually start going out on this Arctic voyage. What a great day. So 121 kilometers. We're going to just line it up and then I'm going to show you guys what's inside. All right. So we're basically on a straightaway to get there. Let's go out here and make sure it's all clear. So if we just look, there's no island. So we should be fine. Um, Whoever this is, please let me know if there's any icebergs. I'll put you right there. There shouldn't be any already. That'd be a bit concerning if I'm going to be honest on the bow of the boat you could say we got some rooms in here so right here we can do a stern sink so that's from the back of the boat and a uh, boiler explosion and then we have a bow sink with a torpedo hit oh that's crazy all right so we have this lady right here um whatever you do do not go in that room that's completely my room oh why does she like do that little hand thing? Okay, you know what? We're done here. Anyways, on the like complete bow of the boat, we have this. Um, what's what? I don't even know what this is. This is also a tour for me. A massive cargo bay thing. Okay, that's really cool. A chain room in here, looking nice. And then we can also open the cargo hatch with this lever here. And it's uh, that'd suck if water started pouring in there. This thing would just sink so fast. But we are on a clear shot to the Arctic, ladies and gentlemen. So definitely, I, I don't know. I didn't check the weather. I don't know what's gonna happen here. But we're gonna go back inside here and see what's going on. With the interior so we have a nice dining room i would say right here with the actual kitchen so let's turn on some of the burners here they do work and it actually gives me like the heater indicator on the bottom right which is super realistic um right here we have some bathrooms which is amazing definitely necessary but all right back inside we have some more uh dining areas right here with a cool picture of the boat i'm pretty sure that's the boat it looks like it yeah so it has wait is it i don't know i don't see like the pole there that it's showing but i don't know might be but let's go another floor down here we've seen everything on this floor we're gonna go another Another one down so what is down here all right so we have the engineer room okay that's part of the pistons right there that we were looking at earlier um we have a whole bunch of actual indoor cabins of course they're indoor but yeah just cabins right there quite nice cabin right there i wonder if that's like third class or something i don't know then if we go towards the bow of the boat we have even more of these cabins they really just pack this thing full of high density interior so let's go another floor down i think we got everything in this side right anything over there probably the same all right we're gonna go down another floor and i'm pretty sure this is like oh yep this is third class right here i can just say that yeah so we're at the bottom of the boat right now we have a cargo hatch right here what does that lead to that really shouldn't oh that's straight to outside oh my gosh that's a very big issue if that ever breaks this thing's done so i can confirm that but um yeah this is the engine room right here pretty loud place we should probably get out of here if i'm being honest let's close these doors behind us uh, we don't want water going through all the doors that suck but for the boiler room it actually has water sealed doors so really cool um engineering they got going on there to like keep it all waterproof inside so let's go back up here and actually start controlling this thing. We have an all clear. Wait, do we have to go around the main island? I think we do. Oh, no. Yeah, so we have to do that. So we're going to go full starboard right now and turn that way. I just put a waypoint over there. I don't know why I did. I probably should have kept it. Whatever. We're going that way. And would you look at that? It is starting to sprinkle out here. Yeah, I probably should have checked the weather radar. I'm going to bring everyone inside, including you. Uh, you're supposed to be looking for icebergs here. How about you go in here? I think that's an actual passenger, but you know, that's fine. Everybody follow me. Follow me. We are going inside 
outside it is starting to rain and I just can't have any of you guys getting struck by lightning. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't care if some of you guys got struck by lightning. I'm talking to that lady in the red right there. I could care less. Anyways, we need to go back up here and bring all you guys inside. I got a whole train of them going on here. Um, sir, please just, why are they not following me anymore? Oh my gosh. All right, follow me, follow me. We are gonna go below deck. Be careful on these stairs here. They're a little bit sketchy. I just flew down them myself. Oh, guys, watch out. You guys cannot be jumping down those. Idiot. I don't even care. Um, These don't have working seats on them, so we can't place them there. Okay, I'll just bring you guys straight to your bedrooms. Yeah, really not a whole lot you can do out here. I guess I'll drop some of you guys off over here. I could care less. There you go. All right, we got some of them dropped off. We're gonna go another floor down and bring you guys all to your bedrooms. I somehow got all those people actually stuffed in their rooms. Let's go back up there and start piloting this thing, of course. It's really starting to pick up out there. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is going on? Are we actually entering a storm here? Let's go on the wind map. Um, uh-oh, that's a huge one right there. And then if we go to rain, actually, yeah, we're in a patch right now. We're about to enter one. Oh, this is bad, guys. I think we're about to enter a storm. Oh, no. Wait a second. Do you hear that? I hear tsunami sirens. Oh, what is going on out here? You need to help me look for the tsunami because they said that there is a tsunami out here. I'm on the high alert right now looking for a tsunami. Oh, no. Why does this have to happen every time? Do you think it's Debbie's fault? It's always Debbie. She's always on board when it happens. It could possibly be her. She might be summoning it. Uh, wait, what is that back there? What's that behind you? Uh, are those mountains? Uh, why is it so, like, wavy? Do you guys see that? That's really cool looking, but I, I don't know if it's gonna be that cool. I cannot tell if those are mountains. Um, oh, wait, what the heck? That's water foam on... Wait, is that a wave? Oh, no, that cannot be the tsunami that this thing's gonna be hitting. We're all gonna die. There's no chance in the world that we're gonna be going up that thing and somehow surviving. Um, okay, I would recommend closing all exterior doors. We're on full lockdown. All crew and passengers brace for impact. Close all doors, as stated a little bit ago. This is gonna be very serious. Also, be prepared to start boarding lifeboats momentarily. This is just definitely gonna cause some slight issues right here. Here, you wanna go outside and test the atmospheric air levels when we're going over the tsunami. Just, you know, okay, so we'll put that person out there. Looking great. I think I picked up everyone on deck. No one is out here. Everyone's still sleeping in their beds right now, having no idea what's about to happen. This is going to be insane. Um, They're probably gonna wake up at the ceiling, so that's gonna be fun for them. There's actually someone standing up right there. He can't even see what's going on. Or, I mean, oh, they definitely can. Here we go. We're starting to rise the tsunami. Uh-oh, it's going over the bow. Wait, it's starting to float up. This is good. This is what we want. I think they will definitely be able to feel something right about now. They're definitely having some issues here. Here we go. We're going to get a lot of airtime. Uh-oh, this is normally the interesting part. We're popping a wheelie. Shut down the throttle. We're not trying to do a backflip here. Oh, we're piercing the water. That's not good. And we are completely crashing down. And I think we all survived. Hold on, let's do a double. Wait, there's someone on deck that entire... Sir, how are you still alive? Well, that's quite impressive if I do have to say so myself, but um, you should not be up there. Are the people over here still fine? They are. Wow. They're like, it's like nothing even happened. Okay. That's great. We're still all running. Okay. So I'm going to have you, sir, check up on the people sleeping because they probably had the best wake up of their lives right there. That was probably insane. What a great alarm. Okay. We're going to start throttling up here and we'll be on our way to, I don't even know. I mean, honestly, they look fine down there. They're still in their bed, just taking their nice old nap. I think, yeah, they'll be fine. But um, the waves are clearly starting to pick up. Um, yeah, so let's definitely clear people now. So, oh, don't jump. Please do not jump on the deck. That's the worst thing you can possibly do at this moment, sir. Oh, that's nice. I didn't even realize, but we have a lifeboat right here. This is probably for me, but um, I don't see any seats in it. I mean, there's seats right there, but I can't like click on them to actually go in the seats. Unlike these ones. See, I can actually go in the seat like on this one right here. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Okay, you know, we'll just not deploy that one. Oh my gosh, look up. We have a Cessna flying right there. What is he doing? Flying straight into a storm. Maybe it's a storm chaser plane. I've never heard of those. Wait a second. We're going straight for an island. Wait, that's the military base. Oh, no. Okay, get away from that thing. They have flat cannons. I know that for a fact. There's probably sea mines all over the place in here. Oh, gosh. Is there anything down here? I think we're all clear. I don't see anything, but they literally appear out of nowhere. So we'll definitely feel the explosion before we even see it. Oh, my gosh. What is going on with these waves? Yep, I think we're definitely in a storm right now. Okay, so the waves are picking up about the size of this thing, or like half the size, I'd say. But they are starting to kind of crash over deck at some point. So we're having major lightning strikes as we speak. All right, you guys, um, please just close the doors behind you. That's all I'm going to ask. But yeah, it's pretty rough out here. Oh my gosh, we're about to get some airtime. Let me jump. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, don't fall off the boat. Yeah, these are some pretty bad waves. I've definitely seen worse. These aren't like as bad as they get. I've seen some like the size of this boat, even though they're not tsunamis, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that's the military base right over there. That's the hangar and all their radio equipment right there. Dude, those things are crazy. What is this person doing? Sir, get out of my face. You know what? I've had enough with you. Here, I'll put you. 
Oh, oh, okay. You know what? That's all your fault. Here you go. Have fun with the fishies, buddy. All right, there he goes. I'm going to get back up here. Oh, I think I just fell off. Nope, we're fine. All right, just continue driving it. Nothing happened. Yep, you didn't see anything. Wait a second to look at his health. He actually has lowered health than when we like started. Obviously, it'd be full when we started. Um, Okay, it's probably the tsunami when they were standing up. Is everyone over here still alive? I think they are. No one's fainted yet. That's good. But while we're driving this thing, why don't we just kind of look at what's going on down there? Make sure there's no water. That's very important. I should have done this much earlier. So we're just going to go down to the complete bottom floor of this actual boat here on the hall. So let's see. Anything going on in here? We got the boilers running up and nice. All right, great. Anything up here? I think we got the all clear. This is the storage room right here that we've been kind of looking at. The chain room. Um, wait, what's that? Hold on. Is that all water? Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, we have water flooding in the storage compartment right now. All right, so I'm going to need the person still in the bridge to start transmitting SOS. This is really bad. We got to leave. There's like a hole in the boat right there. You guys see that? Hold on. Let's get a closer view. Yeah, so that we're like flooding right there. Wait, if I jump in that, would I go outside the boat? Hold on. Why don't we test this? I'll go back in. Oh, that's the complete outside of the boat that we just jumped out of. Oh, no. Okay, well, yeah, lesson learned. Don't jump in whatever those are. We're going to get out of here, though. So let's start climbing up here we're gonna put this storage room on complete lockdown so let's make sure there's no other doors connected to it so there we go i think that was it but with that being said we're gonna completely cut the throttle down because that might help us not like you know sink um so we're gonna do that we're not trying to like push water in there but all right so i'm gonna get all passengers you just stay up here sir and make sure we don't like crash into anything all right so we're gonna go over here jump down a deck below all right so you guys need to wake up your friends right now we're having some issues we're really leaning towards the bow right now i'm trying to do a evacuation here so you sir please follow me i feel it leaning this is bad guys this is a very bad lean we're only encountering you follow me all right we got debbie in here taking her nap all right you're now awake everybody wake up this is an active emergency we are indeed sinking we have a major water leak currently in the bow of the ship there's so many people why did i put so many people in this boat i don't know this is about the same like population as a cruise ship all right i have a train of people let's see will they all follow me there's still someone over here i told you to follow me earlier all right i think we got everyone let's start going up a couple floors here this is rough this is rough really bad guys it's leaning horribly everyone follow me right now we're gonna start boarding light boats so we're gonna open this back door here get out on deck look at this thing's lean towards the front i can just feel the back lifting up right now okay is everyone out oh there's so many you know lady you have fun in there you're just not listening to me all right everybody follow me evacuation we are getting out of here this thing's going Going down straight from the bow i've said that a lot but you know it is okay so i'm gonna jump up here and i'll put you guys in this lifeboat nope don't jump up here you guys stay down there and i'll lift you up if i'm strong enough some of you guys i don't know if i'll be able to lift you up um here i'll put you on a lifeboat debbie you're fine all right we're really leaning right now oh my god um oh look at that our bow's dipping under go we need to hurry up oh no this is not a good time to all go in one spot now i have to like separate them okay so we have how many people left i think we can fill up this lifeboat over here why don't we do that all right so we'll put you as the pilot right there why are you guys not following me this is an emergency i'm your pilot or no captain yeah i'm I, i'm on a boat not a plane oh no okay that was oh oh great okay well you sir have a nice life and whatever goals you're trying to get there we're going to load this light boat oh this thing is going to oh what's going on the light boat's like shifting okay so we're going to do the davit thing here so do the davit right here should extend you guys out there you go and then we're going to lower you. Go, go, go. It's stuck. It's stuck. Push it off. Push it off. Oh, I'm so strong. Okay, there we go. That looks really scary. Okay, I'll just put you guys there. I'll lower you guys. And I'm going to click that red release button. All right, there we go. Release. Here we go. We have dropped them and straight into the water they go. Hopefully they don't sink. All right, there they go. Wait, who's that? How are you still? All right, wait, what is going on here? I don't know how you're still attached to the boat, but um, okay. What in the world is going on? All right, you guys stay on this light boat here. I'm sure you guys will. I'm going to uh, go down below deck here make sure we got everyone i think i left one person in there but they're staying in there is that a rescue helicopter hold on what is that um i think it is wait they might be trying to rescue us okay um that is good that is really good that's what we want all right so anyone else in here all right i think we have all the hallways cleared oh the water's really rising here okay everything is cleared oh that's the outside door close that we do not want that open the boat is getting lower on every wave here we go we're at the bottom oh oh my gosh wait there's water up to the stairs you know okay yeah we're gonna be deploying that light boat here oh my gosh Gosh, the water's spilling over the bridge what in the world this thing's sinking so fast anyone in here oh i forgot about you almost okay we're gonna bring you to this lifeboat really quick here i think it's going down right it's going down right now oh no it is going down go 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 oh the waves are so bad the waves are so bad i have him on my back i just really don't know if we can get back up there here we'll try doing this we'll go on the boat like this oh the boat's still connected okay we're gonna put him on the lifeboat if i can swim over here here 
here, I'll just set you down. You know, you know how to swim. We're gonna be getting on the light boat. I'll get in the pilot seat of the light boat. Here we go. Go, go, go. They're all gonna drown. They're all gonna drown. The boat literally just sank. Okay, disconnect. Here we go. Hold your breath. I'm drowning. Uh oh. Guys, we're having issues here. The thing's not deploying. Is it stuck? Hold on. There we go. It's shifting. It's shifting. Um, I think we kind of overloaded it too much. Oh no. Oh, everyone's dead. Oh, yeah, slightly concerning. There's water completely filling up in these cabins over here now. This thing sunk so fast. That was actually quite unexpected. But look at that. That's Debbie, I think, right there. Yep, there she is. And the lifeboat's not floating. Wow, isn't that useful? Okay, well, I even disconnected it, and it's not floating. So let's see how the people on the actual deployed lifeboat are doing. Oh, my gosh. There's no way this is going that way. Okay, wait, are those the bodies of the people on that lifeboat? All right, so we got the lifeboat over here that this lady is operating. It's actually doing quite well. Um, Yeah, so... There's a couple people over there probably floating to the surface somewhere. Oh, oh wait, we have some survivors. Hold on, I see someone swimming. We have this person right here. He is still swimming and it's kind of well on health. He's been a little bit damaged. There's going to be a couple people floating up here. Don't look this way, guys. Close your eyes. And we have this survivor. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sir, you can go on that light boat right there. It's not really floating that well. Just stand on the top like this. See, like it's perfectly stable. Oh, okay, never mind. But yeah, guys, that's probably going to be it for this sinking ship survival video. Let me know if I should do some more sinking ships. Of course, they're pretty pretty fun. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell, join the discord link is in the description, but thanks for watching and goodbye.